Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2. In the last episode we managed to get Arnon back in our group, as you can finally see on the right hand side, he's happy and smiling. We saved him from vampirism, and we also got our group back together to full strength. We also discovered the secret location of Suldanesala. As you can finally see here, the city is completely revealed to us. And we shall be going north, to the House of the Horn first. Because we want to enter this place, I want to take a look inside. Why? Because we always like to look places, especially when it's about elven housings. They could have magical items in it, you never know. Also pausing right away because golems. Clay golem, stone golem. With everyone else we're gonna tend on the stone golems. Draconia is going on to the clay golem right away. And they're all die. Yeah. Where can I find this, Damien? Southwest. Alright. I should find it if I can. Meanwhile, Alhan is at the gate evacuating the city. Go there and you should be safe. And there they go. Also, time to search things. And also time to use the spell magic. Zing! Now let's have a look. We don't need ice arrows, really. I always am up for cloaks, though. We need this horn. And that's, I believe, is it in here. We are going to get rid of those bullets, because we don't need them. Just a quick look. 1d4 plus 2 plus 2. And then we'll be having this one here, which is a cloak of elven kind, hide and shadow plus 50, which we don't really need. So back in the sack you go. Other than that, there's nothing in here. Luckily, since we have Chrome Fair, this is going to be one of the easier parts. Now, for the next one here at the temple, whoops! There is an iron golem actually, yeah. How about we attack it, hmm? Well, as you can see by the way now, since we have Crumb Fair, this is actually a lot easier than you might think it is. Now we want Draconia to go down here, because I already saw some golems there. I don't want to run into a trap here. Oh it didn't hit that one, really. Ugh. Oh, another one. Hello. And he's dead. This should be an adamantine golem. Yes, it is. Let's see how much damage Draconia does. Three damage? Did I see that correctly? Yes. Well, he's slowed anyway, so... I don't think he's going to live for very long. What the troll did... Oh, they're fighting over here as well. Oh well. We need to take out that golem first though. I'm gonna pull Animan back out of the battle. I'm gonna use his heal on him. Because I don't want him to die here. Quite frankly, he needs to survive this. Oh look! There is another Adamantine golem over here. Draconia will go first since she is the the one with the most armor class. Now, as you can see, these golems are actually pretty easy now. Especially with the weapons we have. They are not really that hard anymore. They hit for a good amount of damage, no doubt. But other than that, they should not be any problem now. Oh look, there's another golem coming up. And he instantly dies. There are some girls up here, or rather children. Not only the girl, but also a boy. So 
So they're talking about their mother uh, being dead. So I haven't seen them, but that doesn't mean that they're a dead child. Come, you should go to the city gates. It is safe there. I didn't say they were dead. You need to listen, child. Also, Draconia needs to go down here, because we want to go to the Temple of Relifane. Now, we regenerate quite a bit of hit points in a very short amount of time. However, it's still the way of not so many hit points, even though. So we need to heal ourselves a little bit here. I'm gonna heal her once more. And once more. And then we should be alright, I think. Yeah, 170, uh, 157 of 171. That's fine. Let's bring ourselves into position and go. Cause right here are one, two, three, four, five of these Rakshasa things. A Maharaja being here, a Rajai here, and two Maharajas on the other side. Gonna attack the middle one first. Ooh. I think they're casting chain lighting as far as I recall, so I'm gonna pull him back a little bit here. Uh, we should probably go for the Maharajas first, because they deal the most damage with their chain lighting stuff. Kelvin, just give us a second, please. Oh! Okay! Go for that Maha- ooh, okay. We might be going out of that one now, though. Otherwise, it might be a little bit of much damage here. Let's go on the Rajai. Because they should be dying pretty, pretty easily. Kill that Maharaja! There we go. Now, everyone move up here, please. And I believe Aerie should have, this time around, the spell that I want. Doesn't she? No. Do you, at least, have the spell? Yes. There we go. Hopefully that works for Ice Storm as well. Well, I would say it would be. Right, let's have a look at what they have. Probably just some magical swords. Or no magical swords at all. Good. Resting time. Oh no! Is that... Uh oh. Well, at least we are healed up, so that shouldn't be much of a problem now. Seems to have a very high concentration skill, otherwise this would not be so easy for them to resist our spells. Uh. Oh, we should probably pull our weak group members back here. Just to make sure that they don't die through this stuff. Well, it's basically easy experience right now. 15k each time they die. There we go! Finally, it worked! Open up the door! But we're not going in just yet. I want to buff up first. Which basically means this and haste. I don't need more than that. I would assume. Alright, let's head in. Let's see what awaits us in here. I'm gonna pause right here for a second. Just to make sure we get everything right. We have a mage here, a Rakshasa, a Glabratsu, and an Iron Golem. Since we know these are completely unknown to us yet, but normally a demon inside here at the end of the game normally means like really strong. Iron Golem can do a lot of damage, but probably not the main problem. Mages are normally the big damage dealers, so we are going to go on the mage first. What ritual? What is he planning now? Right. Right, let's start to attack him. 
Wonderful. I think we stopped him from casting his spell, which is very fortunate here. Oh, Anamon got stunned, which is not that good. Let's try to save him. Oh, it worked. Wonderful. Kill that demon. Wonderful. And now kill that Rakshasa. Should be no problem whatsoever. Yes. Wonderful. That was actually very nice. And very easy. If you take out the mage first, it's no problem whatsoever. This here is a ritual place, and we don't have everything we need right now to make that ritual. However, I wanted to cleanse this temple before we move on. Because that's one of the harder parts, especially if you can't stop the mage from casting Time Stop. Which, by the way, he did try to cast. So, yeah. Definitely worth stopping him there. Healing Animan, and then moving on. Right on. So we've cleansed the right-hand side completely already. There's nothing else that we need here. Down here is the priest's house and the house of the talisman, which will be our next destination. We're gonna stop here for a second, just to let everyone arrive. And also having a save here. And then we shall be moving on. Doesn't seem to be anything up here. But we shall enter this house, just to be sure. Okay. Seems to be some kind of corpses over here. Let's have a look at these tables. Just some spells. Let's have a look at this thing. Okay. Really fine, the truth of life, a rune of Sulanus Allah, Corallon Lotharon, and the other symbol of water. Natural order shall prevail. Well, we don't know anything about that yet. However, if we go upstairs, we should be able to find a clue to this puzzle, which will allow us to get what's inside that box. So everyone please head up step. Kelden. Don't make this any harder on ourselves, please. Just come up here. The wise man doesn't find the way up. Always up with the stairs if you get older. There we go. Now, let's have a look if anything's trapped. Just to make sure that there's no problem in collecting items here. Doesn't seem like it here. Nothing on this one. There's some gem. A little bit of gold. Nothing here. And a talisman. As well, I think, as a time stop scroll. So, not too shabby at all. You will get time stop. This will go in here. And this might be something for you. Oh, she doesn't have a nine spell equipped. About to have time stop in it. Also improve the lacrities in here, if you do want to take it. This is Meteor Swarm. Which is not too bad. It takes four rounds and does four to forty damage with no saving throw. And you might be able to learn this one. Wonderful. And Animan leveled up. Brilliant timing, good man. Brilliant timing. Four, five, and six. Good. Four is going to be this one. Five will be... Mm, critical wounds. And six is going to be... Another heal. Why not? Alright, now that talisman that we just got is the Elven Priest Stone. This is a holy stone used by the priests of the Elven God Rilifane. A piece of the ritual is written on the back. 
from Coralan all began. Rillifain grew, from the branches of Rillifain the water flowed, granting life to the tree. Sulanathala owes all to the tree. So, let's get back down to the lower part. And once we're close to that thing, let's read it again. Basically, it's Corilan, then Rillifain, then the water, then the tree, and then in the end, Sulanathala. So that's what we're going for right now. So let's look at that. So, basically, from Coralan it all started. Then Rillifain came. Then we have the Tree of Life. Oh, maybe it stop water, then the Tree of Life. Yeah, that's right. Coralan, Rillifain, water, tree, and Suldanesala. And we've lost an item, but we've also gained an item, which is the Talisman of Rillifane. And we shall put that into the box of all the other things that we already have acquired. Of course. Now, it is time to move more west, because there's skeletons abound. Shouldn't be too hard with our crom fair now. You're not going to be overwhelmed, because we're going to save your butts. Now, we can move upstairs, here, to the House of the Moon, or we can move to Damon's house. We will choose to move north first. Just because. And in here, there's a battle between some Rakshasa and some Elves. bad thing for the elves is, we need to help them now. Um, I know we could probably need Kelvin's help in order to make this work. Let's go into the elven battle mage. Obviously it seems to be a bad one here. And then go into that Rakshasa. Go onto this Rakshasa, since we can dispel his magic by Keldon's sword. And then, whoop. Well, I suppose we need to have true sight here. Now we can attack it. Oh, fear what? Ugh. Please reach any one of them. Oh, lucky. Hit Draconia as well. Uh, I was sent here by Elham on no illusion. Look, Elham is at the gate, and I'm here to find Arenicus. I've done nothing but fight illusions and monsters here, so your fear is understandable. Just open the gate, please. Well, that was easy. Right, now we only need to take Animan under control, somehow. Right, we're gonna wait where he's walking. Not that way! Oh god, a golem, really. Animan, fight! Well, at least the golem is dead. Ah, oh, come on! Even he's slowed now, we can't hit him. Stop! Running away, Animan! Really gonna march up there? Alright. It's actually good for us. Now we can hit you. Whew! I thought he might even going to die. Luckily, he did not. Let's have a look at the scrolls that these Rakshasa dropped for us. And uh, nothing of interest, nothing of interest, nothing of interest, and nothing of interest. However, there is a place that was hiding something here, which is a little bit of gold. Very. Thank you. Now, let's head upstairs here. And into this house. Let's save before we go.
just as a security precaution. You never know. Yes, we're all here. Pausing right away. Oh look, it's a demon! Okay. So... Oh. I think someone has activated a special ability here. Wait, I must... Puff, and both of them die. Unfortunately for us, though, there's nothing we could do. We're gonna take the Moonblade, though. And we have an Elven Chainmail here, if we so want it. However, um, it's not... Actually, it's better than that one, I believe, isn't it? It doesn't have any magic resistance by any chance, but... Fire? Mm. Well, he can still cast his spells with it. I'm gonna remove this rope. It's always good to have a standard armor here. And this Moonblade is for later. Besides, he looks good in green, doesn't he? Although an orc once said, It's not easy being green! Or rather, it's probably from Kermit the Frog, I would assume. But the quote themselves I don't recall, because I've never watched a Muppet show in English, unfortunately. So the only point where I actually saw this was uh, in Warcraft 3. So, that quote's probably from Kermit, I would assume that, at least. Anyway... We're gonna make our way over to the Harpist's house now. Or rather, we're gonna stop here, just so that everyone can be gathered up. And then we're gonna identify these shoes. By the way, where is my identifying glasses? I never picked them up. Did I? Did I not pick my identification glasses up? Or does someone else have it? Well, I guess I might have forgotten them at some point. Oh well, it's not a big deal. I have enough identification spells. Move silently, 30%. Go into that. Also, gate. Another spell that we're probably never going to use. But experience is experience. I'm not complaining. Adamanton? Iron Golem. Way too easy. Way too easy again! Let's attack the Iron Golem first, so we can take him out quickly. Then attack the other Golems here. The normal ones, it is. Oh! That's a lot of damage. I think you can heal yourself, though. There we go. And now, on to the last Golem. Lovely. I don't think they have anything of value. Nope. Just some kind of maces that we don't need at all. No, Draconia, no. We don't want to go there. We want to go in here. Everyone, that is, will go in there. Not just you. Everyone. Oh, more bodies! Surprise, surprise. Just gonna wait if any traps are here. I remember it's some place being traps. Not sure if this one is the one that we're looking for right now. Maybe not. Yeah, Guess not. I'm gonna pick up all the items that are in this room. As always. Then we're gonna take this harp that we also need for later purposes. And we can't rest in here, of course. But we can rest outside if we so desire. We're not going to go to the clearing just yet. I want to go to Damon's house. I'm going to save the clearing for next video, I think. So we can round up destroying every creature in the outskirts of Suldan SLR, and then going to the really interesting parts after that. Gonna gather ourselves here. Oh, Ramilas. Hmm. All right. Try if we can get one step back so he doesn't spot us. 
And then we're going to level up yarn here. Going to take this up to 80%. And then 5 points in move silently and hide in shadows. Also, his ability is going to be another spike trap. And then we shall be using another version of haste. I believe you have got one part. Alright. Let's move in. Oh, there's an Abasu there. Probably should focus the demon first then. Oh my goodness, he was done quickly. Oh, snap. That was quick. Very quickly, to be exact here. And now we're gonna head into Damon's house here. And... some Rakshasa here. No problem. Artsan is dead. You can stop your casting, Damon. Also another belt that we definitely need at this point. And then we're gonna have a look at what's in store in here. Nothing it seems, but we can talk to Priestess Damon. No problem. Gladly help. By the way, notice her accent like a true female elf. I think the one you call the Exile. Irenicus has taken much from me. Partially. Oh well, I guess you could say that. And I was particularly vexing, demanding the help while also refusing information. Hmm. I would help for the good of both of us, but I do not know what has triggered this. Alright, and I was particularly vexing, demanding the help while also refusing information. That's right. No, I'm not an elf, obviously. I don't have the same ears as you, either way. And they have fallen far from the lofty perch. I see no trace of worth in them now. True. Okay. And Bodhi? Was she involved in this too? I see. So Bodhi was the actual problem and then everything went bonkers. Right, go on. Oh, nice. That's probably nothing that the elves like at all. Yep. An unforgivable thing, I'm sure. What came of it? No, Arrhenicus didn't do the same thing, even though he's much, much more powerful now, isn't he? <laughs> wow, well, that's your first clue, genius. You cut Arrhenicus and Bodhi loose, and instead of reforming, they plotted revenge. Typical. And this is where I come in. He stole my divine soul, some sort of ritual. I guess so. All right. A black dragon. Mm. To the northwest. Oh look, a clearing with a big huge space. Might that be a dragon? Mm, who knows. I'm to find Elysium. After that, Irenicus is mine to deal with. 
Hmm. Yeah, I noticed that the door is sealed. That's right. I will. How can this creature be stopped? There were three. A talisman, which we already have, a golden cup, which we don't have, and a moon blade that we already collected as well. This has better be worth the trouble. Now, there is only one artifact missing, and that one is the one that is uh, with the dragon to the northwest. So that's the only thing that remains to be dealt with, is the dragon. And we need some preparation for that, and I'm not sure if we can beat him on the first try, so... It's always something to remember, if we are to beat a dragon. But, I'm trying to rest here, and it worked. Wonderful. So, when we come back, folks, time to beat a dragon, and also enter the palace of Suldanesalar. So, I will see you all next time.